Good morning, Hookah University. Bob here. How you guys doing? Who we got on so far? Matthew, what's going on? Abdul, thank you. Uh, what's going on today? We are going to uh, review uh, the uh, Wuka, Wuka Generation 2 model. And uh, I just wanted to thank you everybody for coming in early in the morning, wherever you are, or in the early afternoon if you're on the East Coast. Uh, Sorry for the early time change, but uh, this is what works to get these reviews in. And uh, since I've got so many new pipes, I'm just trying to fit everything in as much as I can. Alex, how are you? Uh, so today we're going to go over the Wuka. Uh, this is the crystal click model that we'll be going over. And uh, if you come in to, uh, tomorrow, uh, if you tune in, we'll be doing the review of the Simulation uh, Pro X tomorrow. So that will be the last review of this week. Got a lot going on. Hope everyone's having a good day. All right, so uh, let's get started on the review uh, of the Crystal Click. And uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll start showing you everything that comes with this pipe. All right, first of all, this is the uh, boxing, okay? That when you get your pipe, it's gonna come in this box here. And of course, made in Poland, it says here. Um, nothing's inside this box much, but I'll show you the inside of it anyways here. Let me get the camera set up here so you can see it again. All right, I'll show you. Just so you can see the box. But anyways, I uh, took everything out already. It just, this is just all the packaging inside here. It comes, pre comes together, okay, in one piece, okay? The base, everything is inside there comes with this little uh, identification tag, all right, to make sure you have an original Wuka and not uh, some copy. There are lots of copies out on the market these days of every type of Wuka, so uh, make sure when you're buying yourself a product online, especially on eBay or from overseas, that you're getting it from a reputable dealer because you don't want to get swindled out of a lot of money for something that is not real, okay? So um, let's turn the camera back. Okay, so. Let's go over the pipe. First of all, uh, this is the uh, Wuka leather uh, hose and wooden handle that I purchased uh, separately, and uh, I did not buy direct. I didn't buy this from the seller, so I bought my pipe actually from uh, Elbedia.com over in Paris, France, and um, and I got uh, the Wuka hose uh, online from another seller uh, locally in the U.S. So. I'm not gonna go over that too much uh, outside of that. I really wanted to keep the Wuka product intact by having their hose and their handle. And I actually do like the quality of this product. Um, the stitching is not too bad, not like a Moses hoses, but um, not bad at all. Uh, the wooden handle, okay, uh, comes with their logo on it. Very, very decent quality. A little short for my taste. I like longer handles. But that's all they have right now, and uh, I have the uh, uh, the hose port adapter already in the hose already. So at purchase, I think that hose and the handle was about hundred and twenty-five dollars. If I if I'm right, I can't remember what I paid for that. But anyways, over to the hookah. All right, this is called the Crystal Click. Okay, because what they've done now is uh, Wuka has made a click click on base. So this is uh, made of crystal glass. This is their, they call it the brown color. It looks almost reddish, right? And uh, so now um, the base clicks on to the up stem, okay, and heart. So uh, before, you know, you'd have to put it on without, uh, without this secure method of, of clicking it on. And the first gen I was told, I don't, I never had the first gen. I was told that uh, they had some delamination issues with wood and some cracking and things like that. I've heard nothing but good things for this from this uh, uh, second generation pipe. I really, really like it a lot. And um, it, it smokes pretty open for me. And um, I'm very, very happy with the purchase. So uh, continuing on here, you're gonna get the, um, the coal tray. Uh, you've got the bowl port adapter, the down stem, and that's another a hose adapter that uh, came with the uh, Wuka, okay, because when I bought the leather hose, the hose port that's on there now came with it. Uh, there's another O-ring adapter and I'll, uh, that um, I'll show you what that's for in a second. 
and then you got the pamphlet. So let me flip the camera around and let's just start going over the pipe itself, all right? So um, we're gonna send you this little brochure with it, okay? Just uh, talks about the use of the pipe. It talks about taking care of the wood, the glass, stainless steel, all that kind of good stuff on here. Um, everything's in English, which is great for us here in the USA. And uh, so, neat little pamphlet on how to maintain and care for your Wuka, okay? That comes with it. Um, go over the heart. This, this pipe is just so basic and, and, and so easy to use. And it's so, it's so pretty. I mean, when this thing is put together, it stands out. It's definitely a conversation piece type hookah. And on top of that, it's easy to use. It smokes real well. Um, so let me just show you what they've done now. Before you had to use grommets um, for your uh, hose port, not anymore. So now the, let me show you, now everything just slides right in, no more grommets needed, see that? Easy peasy, right? So that's a really, really nice uh, imp improvement on the two. And then also right here, this is your, um, your purge, okay? So you have just, this just slides in and out. It's got your purge ball here. One large size purge ball, all right. And then, uh, as you can see here and here, just slides. So, okay, so of course this is a, a one piece heart and up stem made of wood. Uh, and as you can see, it's got an O-ring in here. This helps with the click system, which is right around here. This will click onto your base, okay? And the O-ring helps keep with the, uh, a, a good secure seal to make sure you don't have a loss of airflow. All right, so that's what that O-ring is for. Uh, the original comes with a white one. It, they give you a uh, if you have a if you lose it or you need a new one or breaks. They gave a black one here as a as a backup. Okay, so um, but O-rings are pretty easy to find anyways if you have an O-ring problem. But uh, you can see on here that they do have a serial number on the bottom, okay? And um, pretty pretty easy, right? So uh, also I wanna show you now the, uh, the down stem. Down stem, no diffuser at all with this pipe. And um, it's a decent size opening as most of the hookahs that are made. This is about the the average size opening. So you, I have good uh, draw and airflow with this pipe. Some people complain that their pipes weren't very open uh, with the draw, but I haven't found that at all. I found that the pipe smokes very good. Hey Mo, how are you? Will, how are you? Uh, Alfred, thanks for joining. So again, there it just this uh, will screw on and no diffuser, but I'm gonna show you something real quick. You can use, uh, if, if you wanna cut your noise level down, there are things you can do for that, okay? So, if you wanna cut your noise level down, you can always buy these generic uh, rubber uh, diffusers. They just go right on the end here, and these work phenomenal. They're like a dollar or two, okay? You just put this on here like this, slide them on, and now you have a diffuser, and it works really good. You got this one, or you got this uh, black one here, okay, a little bit longer. These work really, really good, folks. So. If you're, you're wanting to cut the noise down on any of your pipes that don't have a diffuser, I don't care what model, it will fit on anything, all right? You can do that. Now this is a uh, made from Spire Hookahs. This is uh, a 3D printed um, diffuser that was made for my Regal. It actually fits on this perfectly. So I always use this with this pipe, and uh, since it fits fine, you know, it's a, uh, this is the same diameter as my Regal downstem. So it fits good. So I've been using this a lot uh, when I smoke this pipe to help cut the noise down. So hey Tanner, how are you? So this is what, what I use for that. All right, so now um, screw this on for you real quick. And then uh, I'm gonna show you the tray here. Tray is um, a brushed stainless steel, very good quality. Nothing special about it outside of that. It's, it's, it's made really nice. All right, so all right, so here we go. I'm not gonna put the purge ball back in right now because this is just a slider, you know, it'll just come right out and I don't wanna lose the ball. But I'll show you the tray. Very pretty, polished stainless. It's got a little weight to it. 
not too overly big, but it's a Wuka. And you know, Wuka has been around a long time and uh, I think it's a great pipe. It's all over the world. Many people use it. And uh, so I am very happy to have this as part of my collection. And this is the uh, bowl port, very heavy stainless steel. And uh, this goes on here, simple. This is just such an easy pipe to use, you know? I mean, it's so easy to put together and you're on. Look at how easy that is. And as far as cleaning is concerned, uh, when you take the down stem off and you take your tray off, if you put a, uh, uh, a funnel in the top here and pour hot water down, right down the whole stem, you're good to go. Easy cleaning too. So let's go get some water in here and um, find out where to put the... Now let's go get some water in the base. We'll go pack a bowl and uh, we'll get this thing smoking. Anybody have any questions so far? There we go. All right, I'm just going to uh, take the base and leave this pipe right here for now. Let's all go over to my packing station. All right. Oh, let me bring the pipe over here so I can measure the depth of the water for this base. So, let me grab it. All right. Let's lay this down. Put this camera here. All right. Let's move this around. All right, so. All right, there we go. Well, I'm gonna start uh, the cubes now so we don't have to wait too long. I'm, uh, I'm gonna use three cubes, all right, on my burner. Uh, I am gonna use uh, this hookah john bowl, all right? And we're gonna be smoking some alfalfa craft batch today. And uh, I know we got a lot of new people out there and uh, everybody knows alfalfa. And I wanted to just show an alfalfa pack with foil and uh, using a Provo, something simple today, okay? So I've been doing the HMD stuff for the last couple days and I wanted to show just a basic pack with uh, using foil uh, with a very loved Al Fokker tobacco. So that's what I want to do today. And let's see, any questions? I'm not seeing any questions. I don't know what's going on here. If you guys are a asking me questions, I only see who's online. I am not seeing any questions. Let me see. I don't know why. I don't see any comments, but I apologize. Uh, if you are putting comments out there, I'll promise when the live is over to answer your, your question. But all I see is who's online. I don't know if this is a new Facebook deal or what. <laughs> but I, I don't see anything except who's online. And that's not normal. Alright, so let's get this going here. Alright, let me take a look. See where we're at. Now, one thing with this crystal click base, you can see the water sloshing around, but it's still kind of hard to see the uh, where it goes in or not. And the, the, the click, the click base, okay? How this goes on? Let me show you. You put it here, push down, and you twist. Okay, that's it. And now you're locked in, into place. Uh, I want to hold this up to my light real quick to see where the level is. I think we're good. Let me take a pull. Good. All right. Nailed it with one shot. Lucky. All right. So, anyways, that's what it looks like. Let's uh, start packing a bowl, and then we'll get started. All right. So, okay. Alpha Craft Batch 86. One of my favorite flavors. I love, love, love this tobacco. And uh, I know lately I've been uh, packing Element and uh, Tangiers and stuff. But there are a lot of people out there that are new to smoking or fairly new. And, you know, Al Fokker is a staple at most lounges. Of course, we all know that. They've been around forever. And um, I just love their craft batches. And number 22, number 86, number 8, number 4, some of my favorites. You know, just... Take your fork and, you know, mash everything around. Start getting all the juices mixed through the tobacco before you pack it, okay? So, pretty easy. Now, this tobacco kind, to me, is a little sticky. So, when I put it in, I have to break it up a little bit just to make sure everything's not clumped up. All right? So, uh, 
show you what I mean. See, see how it's like kind of lumpy, even after mixing it with my fork. So you want to just break it up, okay, and um, make sure everything is is broken open a little bit. And I just use my uh, poker a lot to do that. Pretty easy. It's just you know, it's not hard to do, folks. Just make a lot of people make packing a bowl harder than what it really is. Just make it simple. Do the best that you can. Remember just to make sure that uh, you're not overpacking the bowl. Uh, make sure that your foil's on nice and tight. Make sure you poke enough holes for airflow, um, and uh, you'll have a good you'll have a good good smoke, good clouds. Okay, so it's it's not hard. Don't make it hard, and um, you know as uh, Bracken says, pack it, poke it, smoke it. You know. Or Hookah John says, just throw it in there, right? So that's that's it, you know? Just got to make it easy for yourself. So let me show you this and um, be good to go here in just a second. All right, so now it's a fluff pack up to the rim is what I am doing. And once I have everything in, I just go ahead and just make sure everything is, is not compact, the tobacco. I'm just making sure it's all even around my bowl. Uh, make sure I'm pulling it down from from over the uh, rim if it is a little over the rim and uh, That's it and then we'll foil her up and we should be good to go All right show you this That's it pretty easy, right? All right Put the lid back on Okay like so, you know, as I as I always say, I wash everything as I go because I don't like I don't like a dirty work work table. Gosh, I wish I could see what you guys were asking me or saying because I don't see anything here. I don't know what is going on. So weird. It just it just shows who's online right now. I see uh, right now. I see Roberts online. I see uh, Visuals online. Ollie's online and Tanner's online. That's all I can tell. I can't see anything. Sorry guys, I'm not seeing nothing here. But I promise I'll get back to everybody who's asking questions when we get done. So, I know Tanner must be making uh, some wise ass comments. Not Tanner, yeah, you could just, uh, Tanner Connolly, he's always making fun of me. I don't know why. He just likes to razz me. But anyways, all right, so what I'm using here now is uh, Zomo Extra Strong Foil. I love this foil, one of my favorites. It, it you can really get a really good fit on it so i'm gonna just put it on and i may not be a gen perfect foiler but hey that's okay i you put it on do the best that i can and whatever comes out comes out as long as i don't tear it i have good holes i'm okay with it it doesn't have to be perfectly beautiful right and i use a lot of hmds so uh you know i'm used to that too That looks pretty spot on, right? Okay. And now after I poke my holes, I do re-pull the foil just to make sure everything is still nice and tight because as you're poking, right, you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and you know push down the foil a little bit. So I always go ahead and I just restretch the foil one more time. And we are gonna use something simple, a provost. Uh, I very, very rarely smoke on foil unless I'm going to an outside lounge. I'm either using a provost or I'm I'm using an, uh, a lotus or something, but you know, I don't smoke on foil. I don't like to taste the coals in my mouth after about a half hour of smoking. So uh, the provost will definitely help keep that flavor off your palate as you're smoking. And uh, so that's what I do. So just putting enough holes in here. I'm just doing circular patterns. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Do what you like. One thing I can highly advise is when you're packing a bowl and you're using a funnel bowl, okay, make sure that you put a hole in the center of your bowl for really good, even airflow. That's the only thing I'm going to say about that. Just like that, see? All right, so now I've got my holes poked. I'm going to re-pull tight my foil. Make sure we are drum tight. All right. I think that looks pretty good. And it's pretty pretty drum tight. All right, look. All right, looking good. 
There we go. All right, we are three quarters of the way done with these coals. So let's flip them and we'll be, should be ready to hear smoke in just a second. And while the coals are finishing up, we'll go ahead and put the uh, Wuka back on the table, plug in the hose and we should be golden here in a few minutes. All right, you folks come with me. So if I didn't tell you earlier, this Wuka I got from elbadia.com. Okay, and uh, from lbda.com, I paid uh, 303 euros plus another 55 euros for shipping. Uh, 303 euros is approximately 360 US dollars and then add on to the shipping. So it was a little over $400 for the crystal click, which is actually not too bad to be honest with you. As far as uh, what you're gonna, what, you know, what you're, um, uh, what you're getting. So I mean, you got this crystal base. It smokes really, really, really good. So uh, I am very, very pleased with it, and um, I'm very, very happy. All right, oh, hold on one second. All right. Oh, I'm gonna show you something again. So the click, right? Twist. Turn, pull up like that. That's how you put it in there and out. I want to just move. The kind of cool thing with this pipe is you can make any side, the purge port or the hose port, whatever you like, right? Now, I like to see my logo, okay, when I'm smoking. So I just flipped it around. So now I'm going to make that side. So again, now we just put it back in here. <clears throat> like this. And turn. See that? How easy that is. All right. I know I'm kind of weird. I like to see my logo when I'm smoking of the pipe. I always do that. That's just some of my, my weirdness and nerdness. Okay. Put that in here. Let me take a pull. Oh, as always, I will be using a molasses catcher. I'll be using uh, the Hoob molasses catcher, stainless steel. I've already got grommets on it. All right, put this on. And uh, with this molasses catcher, I do not really feel any kind of uh, tightness on my draw by using it. So, take a pull again. Perfect. All right, I think our coals are done. So, let's go check on the coals and we can start smoking the wuka. Yeah, coals are done. Looking good. Shut this burner down. Grab the provost. And we're good to go. Man, I don't know why I can't see any of these comments. But I promise, like I said, uh, I will go ahead and um, answer all your questions after this live is over. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing now. Turn the down, and then we'll take a good peek at this. All right. One, two, three. Spread them out, centerize this, okay? And um, I'll let you see what this looks like standing back here. So, all right, there is your Wuka all set up. A beautiful pipe, right? Looks really, really good. Again, so with shipping, we're, look, we're at about uh, $420, $25 uh, for the Crystal Click Brown Base is the model. All right, so we're back around here. And like I said, if you'd like it to be more quiet, I've got the diffuser on here. I've got the uh, Spire Hookahs um, handmade, 3D printed diffuser, or you can use these rubber ones to quiet it down. All right, let's take a pull. All right. 
Man, I don't know why, but I don't have anything. Questions. with any HMD you're gonna take a minute or two to heat up get some clouds going make sure you're taking full breaths trying to get your, your your pipe going you can always use a hookah starter which I do at times with a provost I don't have a problem doing that sorry to get going here Two breath clears the base, right? Not too bad. Um, Again, very, very basic hookah, beautiful to look at. Uh, it smokes very, very good. The draw for me is good. It's more a, um, it's not wide open like uh, some of your pipes like Aeon and Mig and, and uh, Matt Pear and stuff. It, it does have, uh, has more that you can feel your smoke in a hookah feeling, you know, which I kind of like sometimes. So I like, I have all different types of uh, draws on on the pipes that I own. Some are way open, some are medium, some are kind of restricted. This one is not restricted by any means, but uh, you definitely feel the pull when you're when you're smoking, and I really, really like that. You know, I like to know I'm smoking a pipe. Uh, my first time smoking a hookah was actually at a uh, lounge in, uh, where was I? In Chicago, actually. My first hookah was in a, a lounge in Chicago, and um, I, I loved it, and I was like, well, I'll have to get one. It was a first-gen Wuka, enough with a, just a plain old glass base, not the crystal base. Uh, it smoked really well for me, so I said, one day I'll get one. And uh, I, I saw a picture of this one with the new click base. I said, oh, okay, I'm going to get this. some good clouds now I love this Al Fokker uh, number 86 craft backs very 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 good flavor if you haven't had a chance to try it give it a whirl and I like again I apologize guys I cannot see any of the questions or anything that you're typing right now I can just see how many people are online uh, I wish I could answer your questions I don't know what's going on with this I, I've never seen this before so um, I don't know what's going on here but anyway, so again, Wuka 303, uh, I guess it all together was uh, 400 and about $25 shipped from Elbadia.com. Uh, that's just the conversion from euros to US dollars. It took me um, just over two weeks for it to arrive from Paris. And uh, like I said, this is a great pipe. I'm very happy with it. No issues with it. And um, I think that uh, you know, for a really easy pipe to use, this one is one of my favorites as far as breakdown put together uh, and ease of use. Uh, tomorrow I'll be going over the uh, Simulation Pro X, and uh, which is a very intricate pipe. And I tell you what, after using that, and I like just a basic pipe just to put it together and start smoking. There's a lot to be said for, for something that's easy to put together, you know, and just get right to smoking. Uh, but anyways, thanks for joining Smoking with Bob. I appreciate you coming to see the uh, live review of the Wuka Crystal Click. And uh, if you have any questions, PM me anytime, and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. I appreciate your time. You all have a great day. Stay safe. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow on the next review of Smoking with Bob. Take care.